Monoclonal antibodies were considered a game changer in the fight against COVID-19. Now they're at the center of a war of words between the Biden administration and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. The FDA has health centers scrambling today. Late last night, U.S. health officials announced COVID-19 antibody drugs from Regeneron and Eli Lilly should no longer be used because they don't work against the Omicron variant. Governor Ron DeSantis called out the federal government again Wednesday. To not give every, anyone the ability to do this at all you know, is really, really um, a significant problem. Why does DeSantis believe it's reckless to get rid of the monoclonal option? Nicole, he openly questions the science, said the data isn't there, at least not yet. So what's going on with this COVID-19 treatment? And what does the science really say? It's time for the Truth of Meter Minute. Hey everybody, I'm Aaron with PolitiFact. So monoclonal antibodies are laboratory produced molecules that mimic the immune system's response to cells. Scientists produce what is called a monoclonal antibody. The therapies act as a shortcut to help boost the immune system with good antibodies to help fight the coronavirus. This type of therapy, usually infused with an IV, is most effective immediately after a COVID-19 diagnosis. Ideally, it makes symptoms more manageable and keeps people out of the hospital. President Donald Trump used a monoclonal antibody treatment from Regeneron in October 2020 when he was diagnosed with COVID-19. It worked for him and it's worked for lots of people. Or at least it worked for lots of people until Omicron appeared. Regeneron uh, now saying that there uh, are data showing that their monoclonal antibody cocktails against COVID do lose potency against the Omicron variant. This was suspected from modeling data, but now there are actual lab data that confirm this. How much less potent? According to the FDA, Regeneron's treatment is 1,000 times less effective against Omicron. Another drug, this one from Eli Lilly, it's 3,000 times less effective. Again, according to the FDA. Enter Ron DeSantis. DeSantis has made these types of treatments a central part of his COVID-19 response. While not talking so much about vaccines, he has sure done a lot of talking about monoclonal antibodies. They are relying on revoking this and pulling the rug out from under people on a single, non-peer-reviewed, non-clinical study that was actually done by a consultant for a rival company to the other two monoclonal antibody treatments. This is not based on a clinical trial. This is not even peer reviewed. And so this is something that they claim shouldn't be used because we have Omicron. It's not 100%, we understand that, but it's really a reckless decision to be able to take this option away from patients. There's a lot DeSantis said right there, and we're not gonna break down every single thing, but we will point out a couple things that are either misleading or not said. Number one, 99.9% .9 of new COVID cases right now are the Omicron variant. Number two, Regeneron's own CEO said back in December that his treatment was not effective against Omicron. And number three, there are still other drugs that have shown to be more effective against Omicron, and those drugs are still available. All right, let's get back to the fact check. Here's what DeSantis said. Without a shred of clinical data to support its decision, the Biden administration has revoked the emergency use authorization for life-saving monoclonal antibody treatments. That rates mostly false. That'll do it for now. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and follow along at politifact.com.